Red flags. Uh, a quote I heard on the internet the other day from a therapist, um, which I believe she got from a cartoon, is when you're wearing rose-colored glasses, all of the red flags look just like flags. And that is quite appropriate in this case. I just wanted to see the good. Um, we know that we have to look at the bad as well. So the final set of red flags, that final set came on July 26 when I met with Susan Mitchell to discuss duties that I would be assisting, um, be taking over and handling on for the Hyperion source. So. Um, starting out, I would be mainly working in the background doing WordPress, um, maintenance and keeping up with their, with their site, um, some content marketing, content repurposing, social media strategy for their Instagram, including making that content for it. Um, mostly, you know, repurposing. We won't go into too much detail on that. And as well as eventually, they wanted me to, when I got my own equipment, be on their streams um, and so also throughout the discussion um, Susan revealed well eventually we would like to pay you of course for all of this um, but the channel doesn't make very much so you know don't expect too much and I was, I was you know I wasn't too bothered by that because at that time I thought that this was my only avenue to assist and spread aunt math and spread meritocracy which also by the way when i said the word meritocracy she susan mitchell's like we're using the word teleocracy now <laughs> um so yeah it was just like what what <laughs> okay um I guess you can use that word. It's kind of strange, but anyway, I get off. I get off the line, and it hit me that Morg was not providing for his team of marketers um, because Morg is a social media influencer. Um, typically, the people doing these tasks for him, marketing his content, driving people to the website to buy merchandise and whatnot, typically you would pay those people something for their time. Um, not just promising them a new world order and pocketing the money. So, um, it was at that time I found out how little, how pathetically little more contributed as a leader to to people that I thought were you know in the in the the inner circle type people um, so it just it was a big a big fucking eye-opener